Sabah al khair. Right now we're going to talk about object pronouns, the ones we use to refer to the object of a verb, what we refer to in Arabic as dhama'ir al nasb. Now in Arabic, we express object pronouns by using suffixes, which attach directly to the verb. Here we have a chart of all of the most commonly used suffixes, and if you've studied the possessive pronouns in Arabic, you'll see that they're virtually identical to the possessive pronouns, right down to the minor variations between an Arabi al-Fusha, MSA, and uh, Egyptian and Levantine dialects. So, for example, here we have a sentence in Arabic, we read the book, or we are reading the book. Naqra al-kitab. Suppose we just want to say, we read it, we are reading it. Well, al-kitab, okay, kitab is masculine, and it's third person, and it's singular, so we're going to look for that masculine third person singular ending, which is hu here. So, we could express this as نقرأه. Similarly, here we have another sentence. أدرس اللغة العربية. I study Arabic or I study the Arabic language. So, اللغة العربية, that's kind of a mouthful. What if we just wanted to say, I study it? Well, اللغة العربية, here we have tamarbutas, which tell us that what we're referring to is grammatically feminine. So, we're going to need that third person singular feminine plural, which is ها. So, we could say instead, I study it. Now, if you listen to much Arab pop music, you're going to encounter some sappy love songs which are full of people talking about how much they love each other. So, if we want to say, for example, I love you to someone in dialect, say Shami, Levantine dialect, we're going to start with that verb, Bahib. I love, but I can't say bahib enta, right? Or bahib enti. I have to use one of these object pronouns. So, if I want to say to a woman, for example, I love you, I'm going to take that feminine pronoun and say bahib bik. Or for a man, if I'm saying I love you to a man, I would say bahib bak, right? And if you want to shout your good fortune from the rooftops and say, for example, he loves me, then we're going to take that conjugated verb again, conjugated for him, huwa, bihib. And once again, I can't say bihib ana. I need to find that object pronoun, which is me. So I would say bihib. Ni. You could even play the flower game, right? He loves me, he loves me not. Bihibni, ma bihibni. He doesn't love me, right? So that is object pronouns, the ma'ira nasb in Arabic.